We are back live at your Bolo Punch Boxing Hour, brought to you by George Rogie Insurance, www.bolopunchboxinghour.com. Streaming to you live, as always, on Ustream.tv. To me, the producer, Patterson, Emil Sarapavinsky, Kegabine, Nestor Garza Romero, and I'm your host, Chris Guzman. Piles and piles of stuff to talk about. We just talked about um, a little bit. I mean, we'll talk more in uh, in detail yeah. on uh, Hatton and Pacquiao, not that there are too many details to go over. Um, if you've been in a damn cave... Five minutes and 59 seconds. If you've been in a... Well, six minutes, because he did get that minute in between. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he did six get that. minutes and 59 yes, seconds. Yes, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> I think he laid on the ground longer than the fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, he did lay on the ground longer than the fight. Was. Ricky Hatton. Oh, where did you go? What happened, dude? Uh, you tried to bang with a banger. Yeah. I mean, he is a banger. I mean, So is Hatton. I mean, that, that's his game. I thought he had learned a couple of new tricks. Um, he did. He, he, talked a good, he talked a good game. I believed it. I believed it. He um, learned to lay flat. He, uh, I he styled it. He, he basically proved that managers can't or uh, trainers can't cha- change your style and uh, tried to take one to give one, and he took one flat, flat on the chin and <laughs> laid down. Oh, man, did he take one flat on the chin. I mean, uh, if you're going to take one, you can't take it from Manny Pacquiao. At any weight, evidently. Obviously. At any weight. <laughs> Uh, some more big news in the world of boxing, obviously. Um, it was announced uh, last weekend that Floyd Mayweather is going to be making his comeback, and he's not fighting a tune-up fight. He did not come back in to find some Sean Bay Mitchell, you know, gatekeeper fighter to just, to just you know, get back warmed up and it's everything. It's kind of interesting who he chose, though. I mean, he chose the one guy that Pacquiao had trouble with. Uh-huh. And he and, wants to blow him out. And you had a very good reason why he picked him. I think it was a good reason. I think you just said that you thought my reason was a good reason. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think he, he. I think by Floyd coming back saying, I want to fight Juan Manuel Marquez, he says, I'm taking the second. He says, I'm the best guy in the world, and I'm going to take the second best guy in the world. I'm going to take Pacquiao completely out of the equation, and uh, and I'm, I'm going to make people watch me instead of worrying about what, what Pacquiao's doing. Pacquiao, every time he puts gloves on, the whole world turns on to watch. Floyd misses that. He misses the fact that he hasn't been in the spotlight for two years, with the exception of Dancing with the Damn Stars. And he, he wants... He much of a spotlight there either. No, he didn't do all that well. <laughs> he didn't do all that well. Um, he says, I'm the man. I'm number one. This is sort of like Ali Frazier. When Frazier becomes the champion because there's no Ali to stand in his way, and then you have two heavyweight champions, essentially... I mean, this is slightly different in that we're talking about the ring belt. We're talking about more than the ring belt. We're talking about, you know, pound for pound greatest fighter in the world, which is an imaginary title anyway. There's no belt even to, to show for it. But well, don't worry, they'll make one. How long They're going to make a pound for pound belt. How long has it been since the three top pound for pound guys could all fight each other tomorrow? Oh, that doesn't happen. Not when Lennox Lewis was going. Not when, when, it, Lu- when <laughs> Lewis was going, he was always in the running. And, and he would have ruined that. But, yeah, the three best pound-for-pound pound guys are all within, you know, a couple Brown pounds Walter, of each yeah. other. <laughs> They're all within a couple pounds of each other. So uh, I love that. It's an exciting time. Um, for Floyd to fight Marquez, and you bring up an interesting point, Mo, that, uh, that um, Pacquiao did have loads of problems with him. Got knocked down, uh, yeah. pulled a draw. Yeah, he knocked him down three times in that first fight and then just barely pulled the draw out. Uh, yeah. Basically, Mark has handled him through the rest of that fight. Yeah, um, just just exciting stuff that that uh, that we have three top of the line, you know, pound for pound guys, and they're all one, two, three. I mean, you, it's hard to say which one's number one right now. Now with now with um. Well, you got to consider with Floyd back in. But you can't put Marquez ahead of Pacquiao basically because he's lost to him twice. You can't put Marquez in front of. You wouldn't have anyway. Yeah. Pacquiao was number one, and and uh, um, Marquez was number two. That's without Floyd in the mix. With Floyd back in, Nestor, where does uh, Marquez belong? Uh, pardon me, where does well, Floyd belong? Until Floyd comes back and beats Marquez and beats beats Pacquiao. So just unretiring doesn't get you back on the list. No, it. it I like it, that. It shouldn't have gotten. It shouldn't have gotten Klitschko back on the list. I think I set you up for that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you're welcome. Ball. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, no, it just, it doesn't, You're damn right. Yeah, no, it, it, it doesn't make sense. And, and, until you come back and prove to me that you're the fighter you were when you left, then you don't deserve to be the best pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. And you, at this point... Not, you retired. So what you're saying is words don't make rankings. 
No. And I respect the hell no, out of that so. because because no. I have already seen a pound for pound listing where Floyd is it's on all, top of Pacquiao. already on, on no. where Floyd see, is on top of see, Pacquiao. That's not right. I mean, we're talking about a guy that's beaten that's beaten everybody in in the best that's come his way. Now I understand. So did Floyd. Floyd. I understand Floyd did that, but Floyd walked away. And you Floyd got left. That well, doesn't mean you get out of line. That doesn't mean you you go to the end of the line. No. But, but it, you're but hovering. It, you're but hovering. It, but it does not mean you go straight to the it's top. It's like you're either. playing rummy. Right. <laughs> You've thrown your card down, but you haven't. You haven't dis. You know. I don't know. What am I trying to say? I don't know. You don't have no, water. You haven't discarded on. yet. Yeah, so no. you're floating. You got to wait. You got to right, wait no. your turn. Sh- show me. Show me that that you can do it by beating the top two guys. So he's not even. So he's not even on the Nestor Garza Romero pound for pound list right now because he hasn't fought yet. No. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, and no, most. Uh, and most uh, I can don't, that. don't get me wrong, the man is an incredible fighter. I loved no watching shit. him. I loved watching him fight when he was fighting. But Pacquiao has shown me a lot in the last three fights that and, he's had. Yeah, he's learned. I mean, he's shown more me than a, three. A, well, ever well, since the Morales fight, it's the last right. Morales fight. But to do what he did to Hatton this week, he just keeps past getting weekend, better. Keeps getting oh better. Oh my god! So I, now I was, I was astounded to watch. But when we watched it and watched this guy go down twice in the first round, I'm like, this guy doesn't go down. He's lost once. Yeah, well, he, he went he, down in that, and he went down to the other guy that we're talking about here, Floyd. Do you think Floyd would be ranked number one if he wouldn't have retired? Would he still be ahead of Pacquiao, the way the run that Pacquiao's well, been on? I know I, most sports analysts are yesterday's news is what's the top of the top of their priorities, but... I, I think eventually Floyd would have had to have fought Pacquiao. I think the fight would have already happened had he not retired. Uh, simply because Floyd's the type that he doesn't want any doubt. Yeah. He doesn't want people going, "Well, you know this Manny Pacquiao kid, he's pretty good." You know, he wants to he wants he's the type that that wants to back up what he says. Well, Cotto was the guy that everybody was talking about when Floyd retired. Right. That and he and should and fight. Unfortunately, Cotto ran into Margarito. Uh, yeah. Manos de concreto. Uh, so, but you know, I don't even speak. Amel knows exactly what he said. Though. That's, that's funny. Well, if you remember, Roberto Duran was manos de piedra, which means hands of stone. And so I said, hands, hands of, of concrete. concrete. Yeah, I understood. Yeah, so, okay, I, yeah, I don't speak Spanish, but I understood that. I, I, and I and 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 Cotto is a hellacious fighter, but I don't see anybody topping Pacquiao. I really don't. I, he is so fast and so strong. I realize Floyd is fast as well. I understand that. And Chris and we talked about this Saturday or Sunday uh, at the speed of, of Floyd. I just, I think that's going to be one hellacious fight. I just think Floyd. Floyd's taking a bigger punch than what Pacquiao has. I know Pacquiao's fought some good guys, but Floyd's fought bigger guys. You know, it Walter Wade for a long time, and uh, he, he's his chin's been tested by some of those guys. I know. I know well, he's slick, I, and he see, knows. I, I, I can't. I'd I love, think I'd love to agree with you, but I don't think Floyd's ever really been hit. I think Floyd and Chris I think and Jose I. Jose Luis Castillo hit him. Yeah. Well, I do believe. I think Chris and I disagree on this, but I think Floyd Floyd is not quite as quick as what Pacquiao is. I think Pacquiao is a little bit quicker than he I, is, I, I, and I, I definitely think Floyd has quicker feet. You agree with Amel on that? Floyd you think Pacquiao's is, faster than Floyd? I think I think Pacquiao's hands are faster. No. Nope. I think Floyd moves around the ring better. But I yes, honestly, he does. But I honestly believe that Pacquiao. I I, I think that would be one hellacious fight. I no, really it will do. be. It will be. It, it's gonna happen. I hate to, to sound like Yoda right there, but it, it, ha- it has to happen. You will be. <laughs> no, it, it, I mean it, it has to happen because if Floyd. Well, we have to get Pacquiao his due though, because Mark has to hit him. I am not putting Pacquiao down at all. If, if, Who am I to put down I a man? I was hoping that just, somebody else would bring it up before I had to. If, if Floyd, if <laughs> putting Floyd, down, putting down Pacquiao. Holy God! Why would anyone do that? If Floyd continues to talk the way he is, this fight has to happen because there's no way Floyd can back that up without actually getting. He in the does have a it. tall task in front of him though with Marquez, so he's oh, gonna have to get over that obstacle first. It's quite an obstacle. Um, let's go ahead and take a break. And we'll go through the fight itself. Let's go ahead and take our break. We'll be right back at you. Rogi Insurance is a four-generation...